lead in the drinking water in Flint, Michigan, leaves children at high risk for learning and behavioral problems. Disneyland shuts down bacteria-contaminated cooling towers after cases of Legionnaire's disease are discovered in people who had visited the park. 13 people died, and at least 61 residents and staff are sickened when Legionellosis is detected in a veteran's home in Illinois. New reports reveal that nearly 3,000 jurisdictions are facing water quality problems worse than Flint. What is it? Is it, is it the lead? Is it the Legionnaires? Is it the, is it the chemicals? And the answer is yes. The emerging water crisis in America is revealing itself every single day. To address America's water problems and to help find solutions, the UA created a pilot water quality program in eight cities. We needed to put together a brief, a policy brief, to educate ourselves, to educate our unions, to educate our contractors, and to educate industry. We needed a certification program. The first certification is we're going to certify our contractors. Those contractors need to have the fundamentals to, in order to understand what they're selling. The second certification for our members. It's a definite need out there. Water quality is very, very important throughout the country. And it's starting to be mandated by Medicare and Medicaid. And we feel as though we want to be on the front lines of that. The water quality issue cuts across all crafts because sprinkler lines can, can infect somebody. Uh, cooling towers can affect somebody, so any UA craftsman, the service tech, the pipe fitter, the sprinkler fitter, needs to be involved so that we can map systems, audit systems, monitor systems, and also the most important thing is to verify the work that's been done and then validate. When I heard that it was going to be a, a more proactive approach, that's really exciting to me because that means that we can not only make sure that we're taking good care of a client's facilities, but we can also protect people better than we have in the past and prevent many um, infectious disease type situations and um, maybe even save lives. We have the education, we have the manpower to be able to do it, and we've always lived by that motto that we protect the health of the nation, so we feel it's our responsibility. The program will touch all sectors of the industry, but most important, it's a step in the right direction to solve America's water crisis and to keep people safe.